The radio stack's getting bigger. fifties as you can see this one's got the getter white powder of death this one uh, was DOA I'm assuming it was dead before shipping to get white like that I don't think it just oxidizes on its own but honestly I'm not sure I'm pretty sure it oxidizes when it's being ran but, um, I bought this Mako 300, and it has seven of them. It's supposed to be two driving five. Well, now it's two driving four. Maybe I'll put a fifth one back in it. Maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll have, to, uh, we'll have to see, but right now, the way it runs, gives me about 220-ish watts of output to PEP on low mode. I will put this into standby, which is in the middle. We will go low, peak, see what the radio is doing. Maybe a watt, half a watt. Audio, 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 audio. So maybe 12 watts PEP. Obviously, this has a variable dead key, variable power. And I went inside and turned it way, way down. Um, normally, this is like a four watt average you know to a six eight watt average swing maybe a 12 15 watt you know pep that's what the mako 300 for is those old school low power radios so i just got mine turned turned down so that i can run that into there and still have all the channels and all the other features built in now i do need to adjust the input tuner on the back of this but I don't or I could not find the right size adjusting tool just Allen worst case scenario I'll get Allen so I need to uh, dial that down get that nice and flat and uh, we'll take this out of standby that is operate without preamp and I think that's operate with preamp. But being I'm on a dummy load, it doesn't make a difference for me at the moment. So, do you operate without preamp? Up. Oh. See where we're at now. Remember, we had no carrier before. Now I have a 30 watt PEP carrier. And like a 1.5. So, definitely got to fix that input tune. We'll get there. But I'm putting out 4 watts, so I'm not too afraid of hurting anything at the moment. Let's see what we can swing to. Audio 1, 2, 3. Audio 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Audio. Audio 1, 2, 3. So, we're talking at about 15, 1800. That's 1500 right there. And we can give it an audio to about 220 with a 30 watt dead key. Okay, so that is on low. We'll go to high. And we will take this to high now, which just increases the plate voltage. So now we are getting 900 volts the tubes versus the 450 that we were getting a moment ago. 
Let's see if that changed our carrier, which was 30. Oh, let's go back to low. See a carrier. So now we have 40. We had 30. So it gives us a little bit more carrier. But it's going to give us a lot more swing. PEP. -E Audio. One, two. Audio. Audio. So about 500, 550. Um, again, we're missing a tube. These tubes probably are not brand new. But usually you can get about, you know, 750 watts out of that. And I'm sure I can turn the radio up a little bit and, uh, and try to achieve that. Let's see. Let's give it a wee bit more. So there's a 100 watt carrier. Audio. Ah, there's a 700. But, you know, put that back in standby. Let's see what we're doing now. We're doing one or two watts dead key from the radio only now. Audio, 20 watts swinging into it. So it wasn't really ever made to do that. So we're not going to. So now we will keep it on low. Go back and reset our, our, our um, carrier to about... Oh, I gotta take it out of standby. So it's in low on standby. There's 20. There's 35. I'm okay with that. I can put 35 watts into the SB220. And that will get me 350 watts out. I think it's a 10 to 1 carrier. So we'll go to high. Step on the Step on the pedal first. Now you give us carrier. There's our 350 watts. And we can talk on that. And that, uh, that'll get us about 15 to 1800 talk. And um, I think that'll sound real good when we're doing, you know, a nice glab, glass tube amplifier. Pushing a glass tube amplifier. It's really going to take that, uh, that transistor sound out and give it a nice, real clear tube glass sound and let's see what we can give an audio shout to audio audio almost 2000 you know so we're putting in about um 200 220 and we're getting out about 2000 out so it's still a 10 to 1 uh, amplifier like it should be and um let's see how our meters are looking so right now we're on grid and talking right now at about 15 1800 watts we are only at about 600 milliamps and we are doing about uh you know 1.7 on the grid for two three five hundred z's Let's see where high voltage is now i'm still on the pedal there's my carrier it gets me down to about 33 and talking into it right there, talking into it, talking at about uh, 15, 18, about 1800. Talking at 1800, we still are carrying a nice, oh, there goes the breaker. So we were getting about 32, 3300 volts. I am now using two toroids in parallel. I'm still using the internal doubler. I have a metal case that's coming for that that's going to lay under here so i have my power supply sp220 and the 300 now i uh trip the 20 amp breaker that that's on and that is also plugged in for the 12 volt power supply that powers the radio but the filament and this entire amp here is actually plugged into a different circuit I happen to have Two circuits in my room but i have a 50 amp circuit coming i've already got the wire i've got the connections i just got to install it and uh put a 50 amp plug right there and uh you know i have a a solid two kilowatt pep 
glass on glass station that I can use to warm up my bedroom pumping into this here dummy load so uh, definitely looking forward to that everything seems to work well and uh, we'll go from there updates when I got some so far so good